connect your Arduino Nano 33 IoT when you are at home and uh, how to uh, test the Bluetooth. All right. So uh, the board that you can see here on the top is the Nano 33 IoT, and as you can see, I attached it lower board, which is the shield. All right. So the pins go inside the yellow side that you can see uh, on the sheet. Don't push it too hard. Um, it has that small gap. It doesn't have to, uh, you know, go all the way inside. So the way that you can see right now is okay. So the way that you connect the cable is very similar to the board that we have um, in the lab. Uh, here I have a longer cable, yours will be shorter. So we are connecting it to the USB, very similar to the way that you would connect it to your um, kit uh, in the lab. So here I have this website open, which is explaining the Nano 33 IoT bullet. So feel free to read this page. Um, the part that I am going to explain uh, is looking at one example. Um, it's going to connect the Bluetooth on my phone using one app uh, and then I will be able to turn on a small LED on the board which is here it's a bit difficult to see right now uh, if I do a blink example then you will see something blinking here so that LED is a built-in LED so obviously you can connect anything through those ports here and you can control uh, you know a uh, number of things using Bluetooth this is only one example so I'm going to turn on the LED very small LED here and I'm going to turn it off using the app and using the Bluetooth that is built in inside this so a uh, few things that we have to be careful about first of all um, the installation of uh, the nano I IoT board is a little bit difficult so be patient and install it using uh, the uh, board manager from the menu tools so you can um, click on the name and you will end up with this board so this comes as a separate um, category of, and then you can select the nano um, 33 IoT. So when you have that selected properly, the port should recognize it. Once you have that, if you open an example, I have the blink example here, which I'm going to compile it just to show the blinking LED because it's very small. It might be difficult to actually see it. Um, you can see small L can everyone see that mm -hmm. so that's the blinking small LED here uh, I just use the typical blink example here just to show that now I'm going back to the page that I just mentioned we have a code here um, it's complete code so this would be the code that is going to uh, connect the Bluetooth to the LED so you can click on copy here and bring it for IDE window and before you are able to compile that or upload that to your nano you should install this library the same way that we have done before from manage library and then you just type the name and it comes up Just be careful of the uh, typo, but it should be easy to get. So the one at the top is referring to the Nano uh, 33. You can install this one, or you can install the lower one, which is the Arduino DLD. This should be okay. For me, I installed this. And Now, I'm going to upload the code. 
takes a little bit longer than usual and that is typical uh, with using the Nano 33 okay well done in the other hand I'm going to get the app for my phone so if you are iPhone user you can use this link if you are Android user you can use this link I have already installed that on my phone so the name of the app is light blue Bluetooth uh, low ENE that stands for low energy so Bluetooth low energy or BLE would be uh, the component that we are dealing with so when you open that I have lots of Bluetooth transmitters around me which I can connect the particular one that I'm interested would be the one that I am kind of uh, writing the code for so I have changed the name of the specific name this line the name of Bluetooth in order to be able to recognize it uh, within the you know the scanned uh, transmitters so you better uh, put something a little bit uh, more uh, personal name or phrase that you can recognize. I put it so my yes, Nano 33 IoT. So when I press this icon on the top, it's going to uh, sort them based on the strength of the signal. Sweep of camera, please work. I'm pressed with fish. Thank you. Sorry, look, I think I'm taking all your story mm -hmm. on your foot, on your foot. So the name should pop up which did a second ago, but right now. What I'm expecting to see is the name of the Bluetooth that I uh, designed there and um, you can have the 
So my is no don't treat it with that's the name I put. You can put your name or you know your project name here. Um, what I'm doing is I'm pressing connect. By pressing connect, I'm pairing my Bluetooth transmitter here with Bluetooth transmitter on the board. Uh, so I have the, all the information taken from uh, from that Bluetooth here. Now what I can do is. I can go to the device information and uh, digital output. So here I am able to um, write and read um, the data from my Bluetooth. And in this program, my Bluetooth is linked to that LED. So I'm going to type number one and when I press right, the LED is going to turn off. Do you see that? Yep. Yeah. And when I put in zero, that's going to turn off the LED. Yeah? So this is just very a small example, but you can control, you know, you can use your fingers, especially in both of the things, you know, there are uh, endless number of things that you can do.